Hi everyone and welcome back. As I promised in my last video, I'm up here in the Swedish mountains and the colors are exactly as I hoped them to be. The colors are truly spectacular. It's uh, peak autumn here. So everything came together and I'm here on location. And it's already late in the afternoon because it has been raining all day. So I haven't done any vlogging, <laughs> but I have been out there in the rain taking pictures. So I thought I would start this video with a small photo shoot that I had earlier today. This is me one year ago. I didn't take a photo at this location at the time. But what I didn't know was that if I just had walked a hundred meters more up on that ridge, I would have found this composition. A viewpoint where your eyes can follow all the twists and turns of the river. Beautiful. And this time, I captured a photo. I'm happy with the shot, but I think it could get better. The light is too flat. Sure, the light saturates all the colors, but it lacks depth. Some side light coming from the right would definitely make this composition near perfect. I guess I have to return next year as well. Alright, and now it's time to go out into this beautiful woodland with this birch forest and all the beautiful colors and hopefully I can get a picture somewhere around here but it's as I said it's already late in the afternoon so it's gonna get dark soon but I have a lot of things planned for this trip so yeah let's get to it I've always struggled with woodland photography and I guess photography is a lifelong journey of learning things and you never get fully trained there's always something new to learn how you see the landscape how to build compositions so it's always something new out there for you and I guess the key thing for me in a woodland is separation the best way to get separation, of course, is uh, mist or fog. And I don't have that right now. So what I'm looking for is separation in color, shape and forms. And uh, yeah, hopefully there's something out there for me. This is a great example of separation. That pine tree really separates itself from the yellow birch trees that are surrounding it. And uh, it's a no-go for a shot because I don't like the foreground. Those bushes in the foreground are really ugly. <laughs> and if I walk closer, the top of the pine is gonna stick up into the bright sky. And that's something that I really wanna avoid when it comes to woodland photography those bright spots of the sky. So no shot, so let's keep searching. Most of this woodland is really chaotic. All the birch trees is leaning in every direction possible and there is no sight of a nice composition but look at the area behind me it's much more open and there's some separation in between the tree trunks so this is getting me really excited so i have to go and look at this i really like this composition and i love the fact that there is some space in between the tree trunks and I made sure that there isn't much overlapping of the tree trunks that's really important 
And I love the fact that the foreground is green and it's gradually changing to yellow further into the image. So that looks really nice. And I don't have to worry about bright spots of the sky because in the background there is a mountain covering all the sky. So that's really nice. So I'm ready to take the shot and I'm at 30 millimeters, 115 of a second, F8 and ISO 64. Two second self timer. There we go. The light is fading fast, so it's time to go back to the cabin that my partner Vivian and I have rented. So tomorrow me and Vivian are going to go on a hike up into the mountains above the tree line and hopefully we will get really fantastic views and who knows, maybe there are some snow on the, on the mountains. That's maybe wishful thinking because it's been really warm and been a lot of raining so probably really no snow on the mountain tops but you never know all right see you tomorrow It was truly amazing up there in the mountains, and we were not alone, reindeers. I captured many photos of the reindeers, most of them snapshot type of photos. But I wanted to try something more creative and minimalistic. That's when I captured this shot. I really wish I could get closer to the reindeer, making it more dominant in the frame. But all in all, I'm very happy with the photo. Have a look at these conditions. <laughs> I woke up to an autumn morning with mist. I'm truly blessed. So I've been out there for maybe an hour and my first thought was to go back into that woodland I was yesterday but higher up there aren't any mist. The mist is only down in the valley where the river is and right now <laughs> I'm waiting for the sun to pierce through the, the mist and hopefully I get those really lovely sun ray through the woodland so ah, hopefully I will get a really nice picture here. This was such an incredible morning to such a degree that I couldn't bring myself to do more video recording. I was fully focused on photography alone and it paid off.
Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Take care and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.